for us, it was an historic day. It was also, frankly, for the Iraqis. And historic because uh, these are the first elections taking place, uh, if you look at it, uh, uh, on January 2009, which means the first elections taking place uh, once Iraq is sovereign on its own. In other words, Iraqi election led by the Iraqis, managed by the Iraqis, with assistance of the UN, but done by themselves. Second, because they are with an open list. <clears throat> in other words, the Iraqis can choose their own people, indicate the names of the people they want to elect. And also the first opportunity for the Sunnis to actually be able to uh, be going back to be voting since they do regret that uh, they did not vote last time. It is also <clears throat> an election about real power because it is an election about um, who controls the budget of the provincial councils and uh, who nominates the governors. And we are talking about $2.3 billion, which will be allocated from the central government to the provincial councils for the future. At the same time, it becomes the opportunity for the accountability of those uh, elected in the provincial councils, because the Iraqis this time will be able to say the names and therefore also know who they voted and where from they expect results on basic services. The elections uh, <clears throat> uh, had probably the most large number of observers we have seen in recent history. 118,000 national observers, 428,000 observers from the uh, internal basis, in other words, from the, uh, the various parties. 413 international observers coming from 25 countries or entities. The results, well, we are waiting for those provisional results. We should be patient because it's being done very thoroughly and they are likely to come before the end of the week. That's the <laughs> latest Sandra, we understand, yeah. <clears throat> now, the actual participation. We have seen that so far, 51 percent 51 is the number uh, of uh, the turnout. That compared to the 58 percent of the last uh, comparable elections. Um, is this uh, a big, small, medium figure? Well, um, there are many ways of interpreting it. Frankly, by looking at uh, from uh, various angles, I would say that uh, we were all uh, hoping and expecting probably a larger turnout, probably based on the fact that uh, these were the elections where the Iraqis felt and asked for quite strongly. But 51% is above the average for any provincial election in many countries in the world. Second, provincial elections are not as uh, a polarizing and attracting as national elections. We had a new system which is applying uh, the principle that people should register before voting, a little bit like in the U.S., and that has uh, um, complicated, undoubtedly, for some people who had not understood or have not done the registering. Last time, they went to the polling station and just voted by showing their document. But that did produce the danger and the clear possibility, and probably also the cases, of frauds. Whereas this system is the best system possible to try to avoid massive fraud. So there was a price to be paid in order to obtain this type of double, system, uh, double checking, in order to avoid double voting, by the way. Now, the curfew was uh, there. It was lifted at the last moment. It certainly complicated a little bit the access of people, but that uh, is something that we should be used in Iraq. And the IDPs, the large number of IDPs, the displaced people, did not really come for voting except about 60 to 70,000, we estimate. Why? Well, because IDPs do not stay where they should have been, unfortunately. They had an opportunity of registering themselves, and 60,000 of them did, but not the others. And on top of it, um, there is something about the IDPs that makes them very reluctant, probably, to move uh, anyway these days or even before.
Anyway, we uh, suggested to the uh, Electoral Commission to open 100 more polling stations just to be available for last minute IDP through the provisional voting, but it didn't really it, uh, um, help increasing their number. All that putting together came up with a 51%. We are satisfied with it because it is in the in the average of a good election on provincial basis, and I believe, uh, based on the fact that this has produced anyway a guarantee that, uh, or a guarantee or a substantial guarantee that there will be many less chances of any type of major complaints of fraud, it was at this stage the price. But you know what? The real reason for uh, the improving in the future, the real way to improve in the future the electoral participation is a simple system of not using the food the PDS system, which is the basis at the moment in Iraq for identifying who is a voter. If in the future we will be able, and the Iraqis should be doing that, and I, now that the situation is calmer, we could move from the old list, which is being constantly updated, but never perfectly updated, of the uh, food coupon list, then uh, I am sure the whole uh, the numbers and the registration will be by far simpler and more realistic. Conclusion, we are satisfied that one, no violence, two, orderly and well-trained people, three, that they followed procedures, and four, that 51% is really quite a good situation. Results, I'm making no comments on that because we are part of the organizational support and therefore obviously no speculation, and B, because uh, the only ones who can make uh, uh, the announcement about uh, the results is the IEC, the Electoral Commission, on the provisional basis in the next few days. The final official ones will take place uh, at the most likely, Sandra, towards the end of the month, I presume, right. once all the cases of uh, uh, complaints would have been thoroughly one by one examined and the provisional votes of the so-called special voters, i.e. the military, the police, the hospitals and the inmates would have been uh, scrutinized and then, uh, then there would be the official final results. But I think the provisional results normally tend to be quite good yes, sir. and the big difference between one and the other does not normally take place no. but we should still wait for that. End of my comments at this stage, open for questions both to me and to Sandra Mitchell.